from now until the 2019 NFL Draft takes place, we hope to showcase as many prospects as possible and examine both their strengths and weaknesses. Most of these profiles will feature individuals that the Pittsburgh Steelers are likely to have an interest in, while a few others will be top-ranked players. If there is a player you would like us to analyze, let us know in the comments below. After he was announced as a pre-draft visitor by the Steelers yesterday, he's the least known prospect to come through and I knew nothing about him before turning on his tape yesterday afternoon. For a late round pick and relative unknown, you have to have a special trait. White is his speed. The 4.36 he ran at his pro day matches with what I see on tape. He has the ability to win in the open field and beat defenders to the edge. He'll function best in his own scheme at the NFL level. And you see it in the kick return game, too. This 100-yard run back was critical in their win over Old Dominion. He is a mostly one-note guy though. White isn't small and has some muscle but he really lacks power, drive, and goes down far too easy. Cole examples. And he was rarely used in the passing game, just 22 receptions. That separates him from someone like Memphis Tony Pollard, who I don't love but has a lot more versatility on his resume. He got to play as the And it wasn't until 2018 that he saw even a semi-serious role in the offense. I'm not sure what his backstory is for why he declared early but with Singletary in the draft, I don't think it was the right decision. Would I draft him? No. The speed is nice but not so unique, I need to spend a draft pick on it. I'd bring him in as an undrafted free agent but I have trouble seeing how he works in the NFL, a league that's limited the value of the kick return game and in a couple years time, may eliminate it entirely. Projection, UDFA Games Watched, at UCF, at Middle Tennessee Street, versus Old Dominion, at North Texas 2019 NFL Draft, Florida Atlantic, Kareth White Jr., Player Profiles.